Yo, what up guys? Elaine here from learntobitcoin.co.za um, and today we're going to be talking about Digibyte wallets. So here's my Digibyte wallet. Um, it's not a very big file to download. Uh, you install it. It takes forever. Well, my internet isn't too fast. But it takes a little while to then download all of the transactions. Uh, before your transactions will reflect. For a while, you'll, you're going to be seeing 0000, zero, zero, zero like that. But know that once it downloads all of the transaction history from the blockchain, or downloads the blockchain, then you will see your, your funds reflect right over here, uh, as you see this. So, basically, I'm going to take you from the beginning. Um, first of all we go to digibyte.co so go to digibyte.co and you'll see everything you need to know about digibyte you can know about the company you can see what apps you can see the blockchain questions you can go home you can scroll down and just learn all about see what their their development progress is looking like you know there's lots of lots of exciting things to look into with these guys um, they got a lot going on um, so if you want to get your wallet you just go down to here you can either click there or click here to choose wallet and what you'll see if you scroll down is Windows 64 bit 32 bit you got your Mac wallet here Chrome gaming wallet so you can store your wallet into Google Chrome right now it's temporarily removed for update but that should be back Android and the rest Linux and that <laughs> so you go ahead and I will click Windows boom and I've now hypothetically clicked that and oh uh, look there it is on my desktop wow that is great so guys you just go and you double click this to install and it'll take you through the next 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 and before you know it you'll be over here but yours will say zero 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 and you'll be worried and you'll be like oh my gosh why have I got no digibyte or maybe you'll just you'll just know because uh, if you have installed the wallet and received tokens and then you still don't see your your funds there know that once it is synced up and you can it'll tell you at the bottom bar here then you'll be able to access and see your funds um, yeah before I actually down or before I had synced up uh, I already received funds I was a bit hasty um, and then you get into a bit of panic after a while when it says it takes three years to download the blockchain but that is just years of transactions rather than three years of your time Depending on your internet speed, it should be done in a few hours or a day or two days. Um, and then, yeah, then you're seen with this. You can encrypt your wallet. Go down here and have a look. You can see your currency. You can see if it's in sync and all of that stuff. Here's your recent transaction. So if you've received Digibyte, you'll see here. If you've sent Digibyte, you'll see here. Um, or if you can click here and you can see the different Digibyte transactions that you've done through this wallet. Now if you have just installed your wallet and you're looking to get some Digibyte going then you can click receive. Um, this is purely to just keep, tra to keep track of why or when or how uh, you how much you put in um, and all of that kind of stuff so if I got Digibyte from a friend I'd put his name here or if I got it from mining I'd put mining there or if I just made another deposit and I wanted to track that deposit I'd put that label there message all that you don't really this is optional you know all fields are optional here it says so if you don't feel like tagging stuff go ahead and request payment so what this does is it now creates a new one and on, on a date yet and it's got no label there you can see I haven't labeled this one the last one was learn to Bitcoin hey yo donate if you are feeling generous and this, if this helps you um, but yeah basically if I want to receive Bitcoin now here is my or if I want to receive Digibyte sorry here is my Digibyte address and you can go ahead and put that into Shapeshift or any of the exchanges and that is the address that'll top your 
account which will reflect over here um, yeah and that's the basics you know I don't want to make this video too long but I want you to understand that you'll probably be a bit nervous when you download it and it takes seven years to <laughs> it says it takes seven years to update know that that'll just just leave that going on uh, leave your computer on and that'll sync up eventually and your funds will reflect here and then you can store digibytes send and receive digibytes do whatever you want with digibytes um, later videos I might go into more of the other settings here but I feel like that's not really you know if you if you're more interested tinker around um, but yeah if you guys are interested leave below and I'll go delve into the other settings a bit um, and I'm going to be uploading a backup video so if you guys are interested or if you have not yet backed up your Digibyte Core go ahead and click file backup wallet keep your stuff safe you'll get a Digibyte dat file which you can email to yourself um, any kind of passphrases that you get from the installation process wada 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 send those to yourselves back up always 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 back up even after a transaction I just go and back up just to be double safe um, to make sure that it's an updated backup um, and yeah come back next time and I'll have a how to restore your Digibyte wallet from a backup file video so thanks so much for watching guys uh, if this helped you please like comment uh, subscribe um, and let me know what you want to know more of